Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting day. Today is a video as promised with doing full makeup, full eyeshadow with lids by design, the lid strips to help my lids stay back. So this is a very, very big issue for a lot of women, whether you're 20 or whether you're 95. Okay, so it doesn't mean because you are a mature woman that you would only use these. There's lots of things that happen that could result in you wanting to use a lid strip to keep the eyelid back. Okay, so today it's all about being fierce, being bold, saying, actually, I can do this. Actually, I can apply the lid strip with eyeshadow, look beautiful. Now, if you're going to concentrate on just the lid strip, that's the only thing you see because you're putting something on, this isn't going to work for you. I'm not doing a magic trick. I'm not putting on a lid strip and then it magically disappearing. I'm working with a tool to help me look more confident, to help me look beautiful or the way I want to look. So you're giving yourself the permission to change your eyelids, change them to look like what you remember them looking like. That is what this makeup tutorial is all about. So you ladies ready? Let's get this beauty started. Ladies, are we not excited about this tutorial? So I'm gonna just work swiftly through because I know it's really about the eyes. So I'm gonna just put on my Chantecai. This is my Bio Lifting Serum Plus. I used this in my mom's recent video. She really loved this on her skin also. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this serum first. Let it soak in and we're gonna work on the eyes and prepping the eyes. Now that I have on my serum soaking into my skin, you can see beautiful kind of glow to my skin. So it's lifting also. It's all about lifting in this video, right ladies? So I'm going to take my B5 Contours RX. This is an exfoliating eyelid pad. Very important because we don't exfoliate our eyelids like we do our face. And we really need to pay attention, especially when we are using lid strips. So these are the 30 pack. These just came back into stock recently. So that's really wonderful. I just cut off this little piece comes out and then each morning or every other morning, I can take one out like this individually packaged. Or if you want to just do a kind of a tester, we have the five packs, easy, simple. So what's really nice about these is that they're actually quite large, so you can do the whole eye area, really nicely exfoliate the eye. These are gonna cleanse the eye, they're gonna nourish the eye, they're gonna exfoliate the eye. So I just open it up and then I just wrap it around my finger like this. And then I go from the base of my lash line all the way up to my brow bone. You don't wanna put a lot of pressure. Remember, it's very delicate eye area. You just wanna cleanse, especially like in this area where it gets really dark and gray. So you're exfoliating the eye, you're going to be hydrating the eye also, and you're really gonna see a difference. You cannot put the lids by design or any lid strip on your lid if you have oily lids. You have to prep them properly. They will never stay and you'll get really frustrated. Now that my lids are prepped and primed, I'm just going to not touch them with my fingers. I'm gonna just let them be and figure out what size that I wanna do on my on my lids. So we have an assortment pack, four millimeter to seven millimeter. So this is a great assortment pack to figure out, you know, what kind of look do you want? What size fits your eye right? And what's really neat too, is that maybe you might use a four millimeter and then you might use a five millimeter on your other eye, depending on what's going on. I like the four millimeter for myself. They come in a little plastic box like this. And inside you have 80 strips and inside you have a little applicator that does come. And we also do sell the needle nose tweezers too. So it makes a very easy application. So I'm gonna show you how I apply the four millimeter on my lids. I just need a little lift. So I like to do the four millimeter. If you want to have more of a dramatic lift, you're gonna go up in size. So I take the needle nose tweezers, I go to the end, I almost kind of like fold, so it's almost lifting off already. And then I just pick up very gently. I just kind of make it come up so I'm not, I'm not really disturbing the actual lid strip. And then I just gently pick it up off of the, off of the strip here, the plastic, and I have it ready to go. So what I want to do when I'm placing it, what I'm thinking about is where do I want to, where do I need to, where does my eyelid crease? So here's the fold, right? You cannot put the lid on folded skin. It's not going to work. So that's the very big tip that you need to remember. You need to put your head back, have a flat surface, but know where it's actually 
folding because when I put it on the flat skin, it's going to stop the fold. It's going to pull it back. Okay. So again, you cannot, you cannot look at yourself in the mirror and say, oh, there's the fold and put it straight on because it's not going to adhere properly. It's not going to do its job. So what I'm going to do is, and I don't always apply these perfectly every time either. So sometimes because I've prepped my lid, I can take it off one time and reapply. So I want to figure out, I just want to have this. So it's really right here. I don't want it too high. Sometimes I make it too high. So I basically do a little twist, comes off, press down, press. see how it's going to go up a little bit. I'm going to bring that. I got to bring it down because if I let the strip go higher, it never works. I have like a strip that goes to the side like this. So I'm pressing down, making it transparent on my lid right where it folds and it pulls my lid back. So it's really, really nice. This is a four millimeter. So it's a very slight pullback. It's not going to be over the top. Now I also want to mention too, ladies, I'm not doing any magic tricks here. here. This is not a magic show. So yes, the lid strip is on my lid. Could you see it if I walked around with my, my eyelids closed? Probably, but guess what? I don't, I have my eyes open, my lids are back and that's what you need to concentrate on. So this isn't like you're putting something on and it just disappearing. Okay. We're having a tool that's helping us. So we need to be realistic about it and we have to figure out is a payoff worth it? You know, I mean, you, you just have to know that no, you feel like everybody can see it, but really everybody can't. You're just very, you know, there's something on your lid. So you're kind of a little bit more sensitive to it, but that's not, no one's looking at you thinking that you're like, oh my gosh, what's on her lid. So I'm going to just take the other one and I'm going to place it on my left eye. Okay. So here we go. This is my eye that I had the surgery on. So I feel like it's a little bit more of a tired looking eye. So I need to, it's a different shape too. There's like more skin that's piled in the middle than really on the end or in the, in the corner there. So I'm going to do the same, same application. And it's a little bit harder for me because I'm right-handed and this is my left eye. So I always have to kind of figure out how does this placement work? Now, when I'm in the, in the mirror, it's a little bit easier because I'm going straight in, but for the camera purposes, I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. So again, I'm going to put, see where it folds I'm gonna put my, my head back. And I want to get it right where I know this is going to look weird, but I got to get it right where okay, press, press. So sometimes it takes me longer and it looks like I'm contorting myself, but I'm not. So there we go. It's back. My, my skin's back. I like it. It feels good you cannot feel these strips at all. So there we're back. I have more lid space to be able to do my beautiful eyeshadow. Now that my lids are on very, very happy about this. I'm going to go into the eye makeup now. So I'm not going to prime. I'm not going to do any of that. Less is more in this case. So I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown. This is the long wear cream eyeshadow stick. This is going to be in Heather steel, beautiful, creamy, works very well with the lids by design. And I have a special technique on how I apply this. I also got nude, uh, nude beach, which is more of a matte, very pretty, very subtle. So that's kind of, could be an option for you. I do have and mentioned less expensive ones. This is a jumbo eye pencil from NYX NYX 4.99 at the drugstore. It's up to you ladies on what formulation, what price point you want. I'm always offering you different price points, 4.99, or you can go into Bobbi Brown, which I think is, um, 38, 36, 38. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to take this beautiful color that I really like. I really, you know, it's not typical that I always do something that's a little bit darker, but I love this look. It's still very approachable. It's still very beautiful and not over the top, not heavy, not looking like you're putting a ton of makeup on. Sheer it out if you want to. Darken it up if you want to. You can add a little bit in the corners or on the bottom lash line, a little powder if you want to. It is up to you up to you to create and feel confident and feel beautiful and do a different look. Stop telling yourself that you can't wear darker colors because you're 50, 60, 70, 80. You can. And I've proved that on my fierce aging um, series. So I want you to feel empowered. I want you to pick up this stick and say to yourself, yes, I can. Or 
What do we say with our lipstick color? Actually, I can. Actually, I can feel incredible today with my lids back, wearing a lid strip and wearing eyeshadow on top, okay? So today, base of the lashes. Okay, so I started like this. So this is what I really felt was the technique that's going to really give you that opportunity to wear an eyeshadow with a lid strip. So I go underneath it first. So I'm placing the product underneath the lid strip first. Okay. You have to be very careful with the lid strip. You can't go over it. Remember it's very delicate. It's not like you're putting something that's just like sealed to your lid. You still need to be careful with it. You still need to not move it around that much. So I go up to the lid strip. Then I go over the lid strip a little bit here. Okay. A little bit and then a little on top. So you're kind of getting a little bit there. So we still have the lid strip, right? You can still see it. So then I'm going to just kind of color the two, kind of marry the two together. But do you see I'm dabbing? I'm not dragging. I'm dabbing it across. So it basically is covered. Now, what I thought was really great about this was, is that when you do see it, when you do close your eye or you look to the side or what have you, I did a whole little Instagram thing on this, looking down, smiling, looking to the side, what have you. It looks like it's the sheen from the eyeshadow, the cream eyeshadow. So it's not like, oh, here's the lid strip. You know, it's like right there. It's kind of like the sheen. So that's what I really liked about this. So you're not really seeing it. So I'm going to just leave that like that. Not going to do any more right now. Go over and do the same exact thing on the other eye. So now that they're both on, it doesn't matter that it's messy. Don't get upset if you think, oh my gosh, this is looking terrible. This is a process and it's gonna all come together. So what I like to do is I like to go a little bit darker at the base here. This is, I wanna concentrate on having more color at the base underneath the pad. So just lower than the pad. That's what I want because I want that to be more of the focal point because when my eyes are open, that's what you see. You don't see the lid strip, you see that dark part on my eye. So I'm going to be doing that right in the front. Like I said, this is so soft and creamy. This, this, this cream shadow, I'm just like absolutely in love with it. And I'm going to now, now that it's kind of all on, but not totally perfect concealer brush, take any synthetic brush that's small that you have. And in this crease, you're just smoothing it. You're not touching the lid pad. You're just smoothing out the cream shadow that moves really beautifully on the lid. You don't have to do that much. Really beautiful. You can even take the extra, go a little underneath here just to balance it out. Again, try not to tug on the eye because the eyelid pad, if you are pulling on the eye, will start to kind of move around. So you don't want that. So now that I've smoothed it out a little bit, I'm going to take my nude pencil. I want a creamy pencil. I don't want to add powders to my eyelid. So I want to stay in that cream family. I'm going to take my nude. This is for, it's called brow light and waterline. You can use it in your waterline and you can use it to highlight the brow area. So I want this to all look like it's together, right? I want this to be nice and highlighted, still creamy. So I'm going to do that, take the same brush, and just really work this into the skin. So it all looks like it's together, but it's like a nude, beautiful highlight right underneath my brow bone. Now that my brow highlight is on, I'm gonna be moving on to curling my lashes. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then we're gonna go with a beautiful black eyeliner that's really going to define and just pull everything together. Going in with my mascara, you can use a waterproof mascara if you really want to have a long lasting, if you have any kind of issues with your mascara moving, or you can just use a regular volumizing, curling, thickening mascara. So I'm gonna just go into my lashes, really work on my lashes being a focal point because I want that fringe, I want that up, kind of almost giving a little bit of shadowing to the actual lid pad. I have my mascara on. I'm going to just take a little bit of the cream shadow and I'm gonna just go underneath my eye a little bit. I do want that smokiness. 
I do want this to be a little bit more dramatic. I can always, always move the product around with my fingers. That's what's so really nice about cream shadows. You place it, you can smudge it, and it looks really beautiful, very natural, very light. It doesn't look like it's heavy. Now, I usually put on my eyeliner before my mascara. Today, I'm gonna be doing it just the opposite, um, just because it just happened that way. It's not normally how I do it, but I'm gonna take the Ultimate uh, Cream. Again, I'm working in all the cream families, the black, and I'm going to just go into the lash line area so this is actually pretty easy to do when you have mascara on so it just depends on your preference so i can just go to the base of my lashes so i see really where all my lashes are because i have the mascara on them and i'm going to just define my lash line so i'm giving more depth to that area right i may i'm having the the eye focus in on my lashes and that def definitive line on my my eye not like what's going on behind it where where's the pad where's the pad i feel like when ladies put this on they're either like oh everybody can see it and that's what i'm focused on because i have something that i normally wouldn't have on put it on forget about it it's doing its job you are looking gorgeous you are getting the look and effect that you want most of us are wearing eyeglasses anyway too so you have another barrier right so I'm going to just keep going along, giving this beautiful defined look to my eye and having that be another focal point. A really great tip is to take your All My Pad. You're going to want to wipe off your little brush because it will harden. This is a 24 hour stay cream liner. You can use it for your brows. You can use it for your your eyeliner like we just did, but you wanna be able to put it back clean in its little top and then seal the actual little jar. So now you have this really beautiful look. Now I wanna kind of smooth out, you know, I take my little eraser brush, this is my short smudge brush, and I'm going to just, this is gonna give that little bit of extra blending, just blend out the bottom like so, so it really all goes nicely. It's that smoky look. You can go as light or as heavy. Remember, ladies, it's up to you and how you're applying this to your eye. I like to have a little bit more of a defined, very kind of simple. I don't like to go overboard. Again, with all of my makeup, you know that's what I do. I'm going to take my nude eyeliner pencil, and this is a nice little trick. I'm just gonna go in to the lower line here so I'm opening up my eye. I have that nice dark smoky, right? But I'm going to put the nude to take out any red in my eye underneath here, make it look a little bit complete and really, you know, open, beautiful. It's just really, it's a, it's a makeup artist trick and I love doing it. Another trick I wanna show you with your cream shadow, you can take your synthetic brush concealer brush, whatever that is for you, you can wipe it on your cream shadow and you can go back in and spot treat. So say you're like, oh, I can't really get the cream stick in that inner corner. Oh my gosh, it's not working or it, you're getting it and it looks like you just put a big splotch on your eye. Go in with your brush. You can then go in and be more detailed, right? So if I feel like, oh, I need a little bit more above the pad or the strip and I don't want to mess up the strip with the big cream shadow stick, I can go in with my brush and do a little bit more detailed work. I can go in here because I feel like that looks a little, like it needs a little extra blending. I can go in with my brush. And the reason why I'm using a synthetic brush like this is that I'm using a cream. So I don't want to use a fluffy brush. It's going to drag. This would drag and it's a little too big to basically really get this blended. So that's why I'm using a synthetic brush and that's pointed. So I can really get in and work with this cream shadow, but not disrupting the lid pad. Now we're on to the skin. My favorite part, I'm going to show you that I am using the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation SPF 40. Now I've showed you this before, this is C, 26 cool ivory that I'm using. Now I've showed this before and it was in a serum, right? Pumper, like a little dropper, but now we're in a pump. So I'm wondering if we just repackage this. It doesn't seem the same, but this is intensive skin serum foundation. It's a serum. So I'm thinking that they reformulated it, which is fine. I do like it still. Um, I, re I just got this last week. I ordered it and I'm going to now really work on 
buffing this into my skin. I really want these eyes to be beautiful. I want the skin to be really flawless. And then I'm gonna just spa treat with my skin brightener, my, my touch up veil. I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to really highlight underneath the eyes. I want less is more on my skin because I'm having a heavier eye, right? I don't wanna pile on the concealer and all this kind of stuff. I've worked hard on my skin with you. We've really worked hard so that we can do less right? We can wear a BB cream, CC cream, tinted foundation. We can spot treat, don't have to always do a full coverage with concealers. So this is what my application process is today, buffing this into my skin, having my skin look nice and hydrated. I do take up the foundation. It is light. It is a serum foundation. I do take it up a little bit closer underneath my eye because I'm going to be using the eye brightener afterwards. And this is just a little click up pen, very light, so I'm gonna be layering with a light product also. So I click it up and then I'm gonna go into just this area here underneath my eyes, giving it that brightness. This is why I use it for that brightness after the foundation. I really want this to stay. I want this to highlight. I want this to be beautiful and sheer. You can see how light it is. This is not going to be heavy. This isn't gonna look heavy on the skin. I use it on all my fierce aging ladies. It's just beautiful. Take the buffing brush. I'm going to push it into the skin. You can see that it is a little bit of a peach color for color correcting for brightness. So that is what I'm doing for my skin today. Really getting that beautiful look, highlighting the eyes. So my eyes really stand out. It's not my skin that's going to be heavy and covered with tons of product. So now that I have on my foundation, I'm going to just take Nikita Banana. It is a color correcting setting powder. I like this because it's very light and I'm going to just put this mostly in my T-zone underneath my eyes. I want to set my little beautiful brightening in my T-zone here. I don't need it all over my face. You can basically customize where you feel like you really need it. My cheeks today are going to be just really soft and really in this beautiful pinky mauve. This is called my private island. I just want this to look like it is just coming radiating out of my skin, right? I don't want too much. I want it to be, again, high, I want my eyes to be the feature. And I'm going to, yes, with this look, I'm going to add on a little lashes, my 420s from Ardell. You know I love them. I put them on everyone. I put them on Janet. She's 81, or she was at the time. I put them on Sandra. She was also in her early 80s. Beautiful looking, so gorgeous. And it's not over the top. These are called naked lashes for a reason. And I use the 420s because they're short, they're fringy, they look beautiful, they are easy to apply. Ladies, I know you can apply lashes. I've done multiple videos on them, showing you, teaching my mom, teaching my aunt, and you can do it. It's just practice. And I'm going to show you my technique on how I do it. And I'm going to just, before I do that, I'm going to go into my lips. I can use, I'm using Cameo, which is one of my favorite lip liners, or you can use Glacier Pink um, or any pink lip liner that you have. I'm going to go in with a beautiful pink. I love like these, this like Heather steel kind of darker eye with a pink lip. So this is called Pretty Smart High Gloss. And then I'm going to take Sheer Rose and I'm going to go over it as a really pretty like final step of that pretty gloss. So again, I'm going to show you when I line my lips, this is a little technique that I think will come in handy for you. So instead of just lining your lips and not pulling it down, because when your lipstick goes away, you're going to just have a line around your lips. Bring down your lip liner so it's going to give you a little bit more color. You can even fill in your whole lip with the lip liner because you're going to get more stain power with your lipstick by doing that. So. I'm going to, now with this look, you know what ladies I'm going to do? I'm going to do my little Victoria's Secret, highly requested when I'm doing clients' makeups. They always ask me to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect my cupid's bow so I have a powdier top lip so this, because this is a little bit of a sexier look, right? So that's what I'm going to do. This is a little trick that I do um, for everybody that, you know, really likes this look. So instead of dipping down, I'm going to just come across. not going outside my lip vermilion, I'm only connecting the cupid's bow. So this gives people, ladies, that have maybe a little bit of a smaller lip, you can build your lip up a little bit. It still looks natural, it's still very pretty. You're gonna, get, you're gonna have to get used to it, but it's something a little bit different.
Now I'm gonna bring down the lip liner onto my lip. And then I'm gonna just put Sheer Rose right over it. So there I have my eyelashes on, just pulling the whole look together. And the last step is my brows. So I'm gonna just take a skinny brow pencil and I'm going to just kind of give a little, I have a little kind of hole there. So I'm gonna just give a soft kind of fill in, if you will, to my brows a little bit over here so it doesn't have a, kind of like that see-through. I'm gonna take a clear brow fix. I could take, actually this is Coco. I could take Coco because I have a little bit of a gray stragglers on this right side. So softly for me, I can go through and I can coat those, give my brows a little bit of dimension. I could have used clear. I did have clear I was gonna use, but they are what they are. And I say positive vibes to my brows every day because they're always being beaten down. So they need positivity. So I talk to them each morning and say, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, even though people say you look like a little man. I don't think so. So it's what I think is important. So that is the beautiful look. Now we can switch it up a little bit. I'm going to take off just delicate earrings and you can up the vibe. So it's very powerful, your accessories, ladies. So you can up the vibe and you can kind of really go for the glam if you want to, depending on. You can go with a little vintage. You can keep it simple with more maybe of doing a little kind of just a glamour look if you want to. I love these. These are my vintage St. John. I can put on something wild, right? This is like you're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. You're wearing a little lid strip with eyeshadow. It is a big day. It is a fun day. It is a confident day because you're going to basically make your own rules. You're making your own rules for your eyes and what you want to see and your options. You don't have to have surgery. You don't have to go and do anything. You can put on a little lid strip. You can put on a cream eyeshadow and say, you know what, today I feel amazing. Today I am going to have the best day ever because I am choosing to do that. It doesn't matter, ladies. I really want to encourage you to stop listening to other people. Concentrate on your own beauty. You know, it's not, it's not important to focus in on all the noise. What you need to focus in on and what's important is what is on your eyes, what is on your face, what is on your body, as in how you style yourself. It's like styling your attitude. This is a total attitude. When you put on the makeup, you walk out the door and you say, you know what? I own today. Today is my day. And this starts with how you feel about yourself. That's why makeup's so important because you are adding to yourself. You are adorning yourself if that's what you choose to do. So I just want you to feel like, you know, I know there's gonna be comments like, you can see the pads, you can see the pads. Well, guess what? That's not what I'm concentrating on though. I'm not concentrating on the, 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 the pads, right? That's like, I don't concentrate on flaws. I don't sit there and, and meditate on them because where would that get me? Where would that get me in my day? not going to get me a beautiful day. It's not going to get me where I want to go. So by pulling together a look and adding more makeup, whether whatever age you are, ladies, own it, decide upon it and just do it. And if you don't like it, you wash your face. That is the easiest thing to do. Start all over. Start all over. Say you went with this look and you said, you know, a little too much makeup for me. I think I'm going to go in with nude beach. Do it. Just do it, same concept, same application. Just switch it up. You're gonna use a dark brown eyeliner instead. You're gonna maybe, maybe go with a cream blush instead. Just kind of like soften things, make it lighter, make it daytime. This is obviously daytime, nighttime, anytime for me. I would wear this look anytime because I think that with what's ever gone on, there's a totally new attitude and, and there's, a, there's kind of like a, a a permission slip you're giving yourself, right? You're giving yourself your own permission slip to do whatever you want to do with your beauty and your makeup. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.